Isn't this beautiful? So look at all of these. This is called Blue Mist Flower. Uh, the Latin name is Conoclinium coelestinum. These have just popped up and grown all over the garden. Uninvited. <laughs> Um, they're really, really beautiful flowers, and I learned a lot about reading about them. Um, these are a garden variety of what's called ageratum, which is apparently a smaller version of this wild uh, native flower here. And I don't know if it's edible, I don't know if it's usable in terms of medicine or food, but it sure is pretty. It's not necessarily food for us, but it is food for uh, butterflies. And butterflies enjoy it, and the bees like it, I can see a few bees floating around in here. So it's good for pollinators. We always love the, the flowers that are good for pollinators. I just love being able to sit here and be surrounded by beautiful flowers. Up here we have a common zinnia, which I don't know the uh, Latin name for, but I'll get it to you. Um, so Conoclinium coelestinum, this blue mist flower, uh, will basically grow in uh, shaded or part sun areas where there's lots of moisture. And since we've had so much moisture this year, um, these have just grown all throughout the garden, which at first I was like, Gah! and then I was kind of like, you know what? They're nice. I like them. So yeah, we, I, I very much encourage them to grow throughout the garden. And I think next year, what I'll probably do is um, pull out select bunches of them because uh, they've grown all throughout the garden. But I'll pull out select bunches and just let the, the ones that remain grow as they are. These, flame, uh, these uh, flowers are in the Asteraceae family, which is the same as sunflowers. I did not know that, uh, but that's what I learned in my reading and studying this beautiful little flower. Uh, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to plop myself, plop myself down right over there next to the okra where we have another patch of this uh, blue mist flower growing, and I'm going to play a little song for my friends the flowers. So here we sit with our friends the blue mist flower. Look at the way this thing grows. Big and bushy. Really cool. I like this little plant. It's got a slightly sweet aroma to it. Very, very nice. And I don't know if you can tell or not, but behind it, we got okra. Look at this okra. This is the okra I planted earlier in the season. Now it's huge. It's seven feet tall. Some of it is, uh, it's growing over my head. It's growing out of frame. Um, and over there you can even, well, you probably can't see, but, uh, we have a few pieces of okra still, still coming in here in, uh, late September. Five inch pieces of uh, delicious okra. I'm hoping next year we can plant even more okra and get a better harvest. Um, pickled, fried, sauteed, however you want to cook okra. It's just delicious and very, very good for you. So um, good success with the okra this year. I'm hoping to have even more success, success next year. Um, so here's just a little ditty I'm going to play for my friends, the plants. Mm -hmm. 